Hey everybody, today I want to prove a sharp inequality, and what I mean by that is that the, two, the difference of the two numbers is very close to zero. Now I'm going to start out by illustrating how close these two numbers are by writing down this uh, inequality. 14 squared is less than uh, 210 is less than 15 squared. Okay. So you see that would intimate that 14 uh, is less than the square root of 10, square root of 210, less than 15. So you can see what's going on here. This object right here. This, just this piece right here, we can see that it's between 14 and 15, but then you multiply it by 2, and we can still show that 29 is greater than this number. So you see 2 times 14 is 28, 2 times 15 is 30, right? But still 29 is greater than 2 uh, times the square root of 210. Now one thing to notice, or one thing to think about when you're working something like this, is there's something called the AMGM inequality and it uh, handles positive numbers very nicely. It goes like this. This is called the arithmetic mean. A plus B over 2 is just the average. It's called the arithmetic mean. But it's always greater than or equal to the square root. So it's a very fundamental relationship between addition and multiplication. All right, so that's AB right there. Now, I, the equality condition, equality occurs when A is equal to B. Happens when A is equal to B. What I mean by that is that this expression is exact. If A and B are equal, it's very easy to see that this is uh, equal to the square root of AB. Okay? Because you would just have A is equal to A, basically. Okay, if you want to think of it that way. But, um, or B is equal to B. Now, so that motivates looking for two numbers that are close together. So notice that 210 is equal to 14 times 15, and they're close to each other, right? They're not equal, but they're close. And so that's why, uh, that's why you would expect this to be a tight inequality. Okay, so I've, I've worked it out for you here. Um, uh, square root of 14 plus the square root of 15 over 2. And again, you can see this is just an immediate application of the AMGM inequality. Okay, just a very direct, didn't do any work uh, other than multiply this out here a little bit, you know. But this is, this is just an immediate application of, of the AMGM inequality. And again, this is called uh, AMGM very common in, in competitions, math competitions, arithmetic mean, geometric mean. Okay, so let's keep going. Now it's very simple. I did two things here. I multiplied by 2, and then I squared. Okay, so again, I multiplied by 2. That's why this, uh, this becomes a 4 because I'm, I multiplied by 2 and I squared. Okay. Notice how this radical got removed. Okay, when you square, this is a nested radical, but when you square, this outside radical went poof. All right? Now, the rest of this is just uh, using the, the expansion, well-known expansion result. Uh, if you have uh, x plus y quantity squared, that's equal to x squared plus y squared. plus 2xy. So you see, what, that's where the 29 com, comes from, is because square root of 14 got squared to give you 14. Same for square root of 15, so you get 29. And here's the 2, this 2 that you see right here is the 2 from right here, okay? And so it works out very nicely. When you subtract 2 from both sides, you get what we're trying to prove. Okay, so we're done with the proof. Any, any of you calculator fiends, you can uh, check. Um, 
you can check this. I think it's like within 0 0.01 and some change. It's very, very close, very, very tight. And of course, you can make up your own problem here by doing something like the square root of 23, square root of 24, it would get closer and closer and closer because the further up you go, the closer the numbers get to becoming equal to each other. But anyway, that's it. We, we proved what we intended to prove. Uh, thank you for viewing.